honor my girl. Uh, you know, Lizzie never seemed to fail to touch anybody she met. Everybody she had any time with, it impacted them. Her grandson, Michael, he put it the best. He said, whenever you were around Lizzie, it was a special time. Yeah. And that wasn't just her grandson or daughter or granddaughter or me. Everybody Lizzie came around. Some, some uh, clerk in the store. I could watch him as we were walking away. And that clerk smiling and doing their, the rest of their job was bigger with the rest of the people because they got a lift off the way Lizzie was with people. I got to tell you, see, God can bring good out of anything. I want to let you know what, what I'm talking about by specific example. You know, my girl had the flu and then complications of flu. We had to go over to San Diego to start memorial and stuff. But over at Sharp Memorial, we had a bunch of members of her blood family gathered around. And I looked around and I noticed that we've got people here that I've been hearing Lizzie talk about wanting to get in the same room and talking for years. And they weren't coming together saying, well, I mean, I'm here for Lizzie, but I'm not forgetting. No, they were saying, why was it we weren't talking now? Oh, yeah, that stupid thing, that's done with. We we got no time to do that stuff anymore. We can all take that off of this whenever some one of our number passes. It brings us face to face with mortality and the facts of life. And what? Lizzie did, making every moment with somebody special. You know, we can't have in the back of our minds anymore, oh, Lizzie does that, so I can sort of blow it off. She ain't down here no more to do that. What I'm saying, folks, we gotta pick up that Lizzie slack. Just think about that. Whoever you're with, whatever you're doing, your worth and their worth, making it a special moment. And yet, we're here to get together and, and talk about my girl. We're here to get together and miss my girl, to weep and wail. But you know, I know where she's at. My girl's safe in the arms of Jesus Christ. And I know that I'll see her again. Now, what I want to say to everybody out here is if you don't know where you're going, if you had a heart attack and died right now, that you get yourself some private time and talk to the Lord Jesus about it. Because you don't know when your time is at. Lizzie, she had the flu for about two weeks. And then in the third week, she got complications and she went... It was that quick. It could be that quick for any of us because we don't know. He knows, but we don't. And now, uh, wherever the Bible study group's at, come on up there. Let's sing a song to my girl. Come on, Wendy. Brian, where you at?
Yeah. 